Hi. So far from the JDBC presentations, you have learned the Java application structure to communicate with the database, and you have also learned the different types of JDBC drivers, namely the bridge driver, the type 2 driver, which is the native API partly Java driver, the type 3 driver, which is the network protocol driver, and the type 4 driver, which is pure Java driver, which doesn't have any anything in between, which doesn't communicate to a ODBC driver or a native API or a middleware server. It directly talks to the database. From this presentation, we will learn the high-level JDBC architecture uh, when any Java or Java standalone or J, uh, Java web application communicates to a database. These are the components that are involved in that application. So that gives us a high-level overview of the JDBC architecture. So to communicate to a database, the first step that you have already learned is to connect to a database. So from within our Java program, we connect to the database. Any program that uses the JDBC API to talk, talk to the database is known as a JDBC client. So the JDBC client first creates a connection to the database it does it by using the driver manager class. That's the only famous class in the JDBC API again. The driver manager uses the driver to create the database connection and it returns that connection back to our JDBC client. From that point in time, we no more talk to the driver manager. We directly communicate with the JDBC driver using statement, result set, prepared statement, etc. So the driver manager is only used once to establish the connection and from that point in time we use the classes that are available in the JDBC driver. So the JDBC driver is nothing but an implementation for the various interfaces that are available in the JDBC API. So through JDBC API we use driver manager as well as the driver. So when you say connection dot create statement the the statement that you are getting back is a class that is implemented by the driver. When you say correction.create or prepare, prepare statement, the prepared statement you are getting is an implementation of the prepared statement interface in the JDBC API and the implementation for it is in the JDBC driver. So when you are using Oracle and if you are using Oracle thin driver, there will be a Oracle statement, Oracle result set, Oracle prepared statement, which implement the interfaces in the JDBC API. Similarly, if you are using Microsoft SQL Server, and if you are using the SQL Server driver, type 4 driver provided by Microsoft, that jar file, the driver jar file you get, will have classes. If you open the jar file and see, it will have classes that implement SQL Server statement, SQL Server result set, SQL Server connection. So you get them, and in your class, you handle them using the interfaces like connection, statement and prepared statement which are a part of the JDBC API. So the first step is to create a connection which, you, which uses the driver manager class. From that point in time, the JDBC client or our Java program or a web application which can be a servlet, a JSP or your model classes, wherever you want to use JDBC. You first get the connection, then directly use the connection, statement and result set cla uh, classes that are implemented by the driver. The driver knows how to communicate with the database. So the first thing is it gets a connection. From that point in time, the driver knows how to execute the SQL statements against the database and pass the results back to our JDBC API, which in turn is used in our Java program. So that's the high level architecture and the various components involved in the JDBC application that we develop. So to quickly summarize, our JDBC applications always use the JDBC API. This API, the implementation for this API is provided in the driver. The two main steps for our program to use this drivers is getting the connection. That's the first step. When you say driver manager dot get connection, you get the connection. And from that point in time, you invoke the various methods on the statement, prepared statement, result set, etc. which in turn gets invoked on the driver which talks to the database. Thanks for watching. In the next session, you will uh, see JDBC hands-on where we will be, where we'll be using the statements to execute the different types of SQL statements followed by usage of prepared statements as well as callable statements. Until then, take care.